So welcome back YouTube. What we want to do on this segment is just kind of go over some of the stuff that when we talk about doing performance upgrades, uh, Eric and his shop here at Colvin Motorcycles has a dyno machine and he's going to go over it and explain some of the ins and outs and how using a dyno can really assist you in the performance modifications of your motorcycle. All right, guys, so here's how this works. There's a whole lot of misnomer and a whole lot of black magic voodoo about dynos, but here's actually the down and dirty of the dynos. That's just a diagnostic machine, and it's actually used for a lot more than just torque and horsepower. But for today's episode, that's exactly what we're gonna talk about is just torque and horsepower. So I have a particular motorcycle here. We have dynoed the motorcycle in stock form. We're going to dyno the motorcycle after a few small minor modifications. Here's the first step. Obviously, after putting the motorcycle on the dyno, we go to our first screen. Our first screen is going to tell us exactly where we're going to start the dyno run and where we're going to end the dyno run. Now we're going to talk about the setup screen. Here's where we're going to start the dyno run. Here's where we're going to end the dyno run. We have calculated where the tack ratio is on this motorcycle, so we know exactly what RPM we're turning to get our start and ending position. Now, we're going to go to test. This is our test screen. This is for the dyno operator to obviously watch and monitor the dyno run in and of itself. In the video of the bike running on the dyno, this is the screen that you'll see. The dyno will hold the motorcycle at a starting position. It will release the motorcycle to accelerate to a finished position. Then the dyno will take over and decel the motorcycle to a safe rate. Then we'll plug and chug in our atmospheric conditions. We'll see what it makes. All right, so we come to our next screen after running the bike on the dyno. The machine wants to know exactly the air temperature, air pressure, air humidity. So we go to our weather station. It wants to know our temperature. We're going to push in our temperature. It is a balmy 76 degrees here as we speak. We'll go in, we'll put 76 degrees right here. Next, it wants to know our air pressure. So we go in. We do our barometric pressure. Our barometric pressure is 28.67. Put in 28.67. Next, it wants to know our humidity. Go back to the weather station. What was our humidity for today? It's 74%, and yes, it has been raining all day, and looks like it's gonna rain right now. Put in our 74%. After we have in our air temperature, our humidity, our barometric pressure, we're gonna hit OK. Now, it's gonna to wanna to know where we wanna put it in our dyno runs. We've built up a file just for this test. We're gonna save it, then we're gonna graph it. All right, so what we can see here is We have made 50 horsepower and we have made 61 pounds feet of torque. Now, the torque graph is relatively smooth, the horsepower graph is relatively smooth. So, in essence, through the range of where our dyno run started to where our dyno run ended, we don't have any dips, we don't have any valleys, we don't have any fuzzing. I'm going to say that the jetting 
and the timing is really good on this particular tune that we have right here. So you're asking, what does this tell us? Well, over stock, it lets us know, or prior to how the motorcycle was tuned before, exactly where we've gained and where we have lost power. This being a dresser tour bike, then what this will do is this lets us know exactly where our peak torque is for pulling two people out onto the highway. We're doing some tour riding, We're gonna go up into the mountains, We're gonna go up big hills, pulling two, pulling a trailer. We have our peak horsepower, which is gonna help us out on the highway, passing cars, running with our buddies. Dino. Now for the most part, a dyno has a lot more uses than just torque and horsepower. However, on the consumer side, bike nights, bench racing, hanging out at the pool, whatever, that's pretty much what everybody uses the dyno for is they want big dyno numbers. The dyno is much handier than that. It helps you develop carburetor size. It helps you develop intake runner links. It helps you develop designs on exhaust systems. But for today's purposes, for the most part, we have some bolt-on performance items. Did it help us? Did it not? Obviously it has helped us over our stock setup. We have some mild improvements, which was to be expected. We know where those improvements are. We can further develop the bike from there. So once again, here at Industry Garage, we just wanted to take a moment to let you know what a dyno system is and how it can be used. Give us a like and a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and remember to stay with us. You know, subscribe to the channel so you can see more episodes where we actually take the dyno machine, put performance parts on a bike, and do a comparison between a power run before the performance part was put on and after the performance part was put on. Stay tuned for more episodes and keep watching. <laughs>